Hi folks, this is Sandy from Creative Chaos. I just wanted to do a flip of uh, my purchases from um, AliExpress. I have been very good and have not purchased a lot of stuff, but apparently, uh, I don't know whether it was boredom or I lost my mind or exactly what happened. But anyway, Mama got a little carried away. But it is what it is, and so we shall show you what I have here. Now, I'm not sure which of these covers is going to work the best to be able to see. Might be the dark. I think it is the dark is better. This is a flower of some sort. It cuts out the frame and the flower. I thought it was really cute. Again, I have no idea prices on these. Um, you're just going to have to get online and try to find this stuff yourself because I purchased from whoever I could find it was cheapest as well as um, I got all of mine with uh, wherever I could with free shipping because they're shipping to Canada and it just plus 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 so um, I did pay shipping on some but not a whole lot this is cute um, a little smaller than I thought it was going to be but that's my bad not theirs it's uh, two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches roughly very pretty they're going to look really cute as a silhouette. This one is a happy birthday stamp. Happy birthday stamp. A happy birthday die cut. And uh, I have numerous. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. I have numerous of these, but this one was a little bit different. And I was, uh, felt that I would really like to... I get it because I thought I could really use it. It's different enough that I can use it in a lot of different combinations. This bag is like the bag from hell. I swear to God you need an engineering degree to get into it. What the hell? There. Big happy. Smaller birthday in uh, cursive and then I just thought it was really cute. Very happy with it. Haven't used any of these yet. Here's another one. This is a um, poinsettia, and um, it's. I think it has lots and lots of possibilities. Oh my God. And you could either do it vertically, like that, or you could do it horizontally, like that. It measures uh, six inches roughly by two and a quarter. And I could just see this one with all kinds of glitter and stuff in it. I just think it's going to be really cool. Different. This one is a very cute um, Christmas. And um, it's it's uh, very, very fine. I think it'll be very pretty again, mixing and matching with the, much like the birthday one, you can mix and match your Mary's, whether you wanted to do block letters or cursive or however you want these. I think that would be really cute. And then this one is the same thing. It's Merry Christmas. <coughs> Merry Christmas. This is the cutout and this is the solid. And it's a little bent because my bonehead postage person forced it into the mail slot and it got a little bit bent but I think that that'll be really fun it's very big but I like that about it especially if you want to use it on a slim line um, it says again six inches yeah roughly not quite six inches so that's kind of cool I like that this 
one surprised me. I didn't expect this one to be as big as it is. Um, and as I said to you before, I did not run any of these through. But um, I think this is really pretty. And I think that you could use it in a lot of ways. You could do it that way. You could do it that way. You could do a full circle. Um, you could just do like that on the edge of your card. I think it could be used for a lot. But as I said, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It is, um, at the widest part, it is oops, five a little over five and three quarter sorry a little over four and three quarter inches and that way it's about four and a half so not quite completely symmetrical these are um the stamp set i was happy with this i was happy with the size of it and with the text on it. It's always hard to tell when you're ordering from AliExpress because you can't oh, I think maybe <laughs> okay. You can't um, always tell how big it's going to be but this is uh, a Christmas one and the big love, joy, peace, Christmas and then all of the other ones with at Christmas sending, wishing special bright A on earth kisses you and wishes Mary happy and then there's some little uh, branches and a little dove so I think that's really cute I'm happy with that can you see that better that way probably not kind of cute. I don't know what appealed to me about this, but something did. I just thought it was different. I guess that's probably what appealed to me. And um, I apologize. I hate when other people rattle up their paper like this. That's to give you a headache. There we go. Uh, probably better like that, maybe? It said eyes of the soul and then see me and I just thought it was really different and uh, you know it would be great on an on ATC or an iCAD or a journal page or anything I like the images this might be a little crowded but we'll have to see but yeah teardrops thought that was very cool this is a door I have really not sure what I'm going to do with it, but when I saw the sample, it was on a card, obviously a Christmas card, um, and I just thought, oh, what a good idea, because I think you could zhuzh it up quite a bit. You see that? Yeah. Uh, I plan, this is another one that got a little bit bent but that's okay it's not going to affect how it's used but it looks like yeah all of these cut out so I think this is going to be really cool might be a little finicky but I think it's going to be really cool on the front of a Christmas card or journal page and it measures um, three roughly three and a half inches wide by six inches long and then here's another one which is a round one and I thought this could be obviously it's a round one that's a stupid thing to say um, I thought this one was could be pretty versatile really you could do anything you know, you put happy birthday, like it's not really, uh, it's not a Christmas 
die, although you could probably use it for Christmas, put a bow on it. It's just really pretty. And it measures um, 5 inches wide by, yeah, roughly 5 by 5. Uh, this is a cutting and the edge cuts. And then, of course, all the others, I guess, are just holes and whatnot. I got this cat. I had bought some other cats. I got carried away. But uh, when I got them, I wasn't that much in love with them. So I haven't really used them very much. It's a good sized cat, and then it's got a ball of yarn there. How cute is that? This was from Panna Lisa Craft, but um, I just thought that was really cute. And it is uh, roughly four. Four and a half to the paw by three and a half. I can see that on a birthday card or whatever. There's another round doily type. I've got several of these, but I just think that they're really uh, quite versatile and. Um, Again, you can use them for pretty much any occasion. And this measures uh, not quite three, it's probably two and seven eighths by approximately three inches. And again, very, very intricate, pretty. Again, I could see that being used for a lot of things. fell in love with this bumblebee. I have a couple of stamps which are bumblebees, but I think I've got another one too. But it's not this big and it's not this intricate. So I just fell in love with it. I thought, oh, i got to have that. So, um, you could paper piece it or you could color it. You know, or put vellum on the, on the wings even. So that's roughly three and a half across the wingspan and two and a quarter. Oh, it's probably a little bit longer if that we count the legs. Sorry, I wasn't counting the legs. And about two and a half with the legs. So that's a good size. That could be a central Im a central image on a card without any problem at all or go inside a card. Really like that. pretty much a solid background with all these little holes and designs stamped uh, embossed in it and it measures approximately four and a quarter by yeah it's pretty much oh. not quite this is more like four and an eight maybe I mismeasured that yeah it's about four and an eight square so I'm curious to try that. Again, that you could do a lot with it. And it gives you a jagged little cutting. Oh! Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure about this. I'll have to try that. I'm not sure about that, how oh, that's going to work. As you see, I told you I got carried away. Now this is really cute, I think. 
This again, I'm a cat person, so I had to have this. I've got a couple of other cat ones. Uh, two or three cat stamps, I think. But this was really cute, I thought. And I thought you could do a whole lot with it. And I bought the... Oh my god, I hate these things. This packaging drives me nuts. Um, Whoa, if you can see that, maybe we need to do it on the lighter background. That might be better. Um, so there's, looks like three male cats and one female. But I'm thinking that really any of these, you could color them as a male or a female with the exception of that guy. Um, and they're about... one and three quarter inches across by two and a half yeah they're all about the same size I just think they're so darn cute and then I got for once I ended up getting the dies and this is another one that the postal person assaulted um, but yeah I think that goes how does that go like so maybe no anyway these guys go with it now I have a couple of um these deer have a very small one um, but I thought that this would be pretty versatile and pulls together a nice masculine card um, if one was trying to do that so there you are and it measures roughly an inch and five-eighths across the antlers and then approximately two and three-quarter inches on the top to bottom and I don't know but I suspect that you could flip this 